Morning everyone. I have a few concerns regarding the foam used inside this machine. It's by a company called DeVilbus. This is the DV5 series. In America, they call it the IntelliPap. In here in Australia, they refer to it as the Sleep Cube. Now, DeVilbus has put out a statement. They put this out a while ago and I was like, cool. You know, they say everything's okay. But the more I thought about it, it feels to me like there could be a, a bit of a problem. All right, I'll read you the statement. Drive to Vilbus Healthcare has not identified any issues similar to the ones identified by Philips. Sounds pretty good. Our DV6 series CPAP devices use a silicone foam for sound abatement. This foam is not related in material or design to polyester polyurethane foams, the ones used in Philips. That sounds great. In addition, although our DV5 series CPAP devices do use polyester polyurethane foam for sound abatement, there is a wide variance in the mechanical and chemical properties of these foams based on their specific formulations, the processes used to manufacture them, and the unique design and performance characteristics of the devices in which they are use, used. Drive to Vilbus performs constant continuous post-market surveillance and analysis of sales, service and repair data, which has not detected any problems similar to the ones identified by Philips since the DV series was introduced in 2007. So this machine's been on the market for a long, long time. But you also have to remember that many of those Philips machines that were recalled were also released a long, long, long time ago. So just because they haven't noticed any problems doesn't mean that there isn't any problems. That's what I'm saying. And with the Philips Foamgate Saga, the only real reason that it came to light was because people were noticing in that dream station chamber, because you can see right into it, they were noticing the black foam debris inside that chamber because it's very easy to see it. Whereas with this DeVilbus DV5 series, the chamber itself is all sealed up you can't, and it's a blue colour, you can't actually see inside the chamber. So when you go to empty the chamber, you literally take off the clip, pour it down the drain, and then fill it up again. Um, so I just don't think it would be that obvious. So I wrote to DeVilbus anyway, and just asked them, I said, look guys, I am concerned about this polyester polyurethane foam. I know you've said it's different to Philips, but it looks the same, it feels the same, and it reacts to ozone the same, because I did a little experiment, which I'll show you soon. Do you have anything more concrete? And they replied and said, we only have the official statement from the corporate office. Uh, I will forward your concerns, but since we don't have any complaints related to our foam, I don't think there will be a different statement. And I haven't received a different statement. So, but anyway, look, we'll have a look inside the DV5 series. I'll show you the foam and I'll show you what effect ozone had on the foam. It's pretty similar to the Philips stuff. So yeah. I don't know where, where this is going to go, but I think DeVilbus needs to come out with some lab analysis of their foam, show us some real data from an independent company and say, yeah, look, the polyester polyurethane foam in our machines is different. It doesn't break down from heat and humidity and all that sort of stuff and give us a little bit more confidence in their product because this statement is a little bit wishy-washy as far as I'm concerned. All right, so here we have it inside the DV5 series. And this is the turbine in here. So the foam sits all around the outside. There's the turbine, that's the air intake. So it's certainly not sealed away from the air intake. Now this is foam I've treated with ozone. So we'll get back to that in a second. I'll just put that over here. And then under that, there is more foam. And then I'm not sure, is that the only foam? And then there's more foam under here as well. All right, so there's a lot of, a lot of this stuff in, in the machine, all right? This here is the Philips foam. This is the Dream Station 1 foam. And this here is the foam from the DeVilbus machine. So I just wanna, this is what I wanna show you. Like it's, hold it up and just give you a really close look. But you can see that it's, like if I hold that up, like it's a, Maybe a tiny bit of difference, but it's very, very, very similar. Let's have a look at the ozone test that I did. So this is the Philips stuff, and I won't get out of the bag. You've seen it all before, but you can see that it 
ozone just nukes it and just becomes terrible. But I did, I, I nuked this one for a little bit less, just for a couple of days with the ozone. And you can see that it's, it's disintegrating the same. This is the DV5 series foam that I showed you. So it does disintegrate with the ozone. I don't know if it's going to disintegrate with the heat, but the fact that it reacts the same to the ozone, it just doesn't sit well with me that they've come out and said, oh, don't worry, guys, you know, our foam's different in the chemical nature. It's very, very, very similar. The Vilbus, I think you need to come out with some lab analysis to prove to us that your foam is okay. And I am gonna do some videos just anyway on how to take the foam out of this device. It's not within a sealed chamber. As you saw then, I just took it out pretty easily. So you can take the foam out of this one. All right, guys, that's it.